Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this week's video. But before we start, finally, finally, I have merchandise for you guys. And this is very different from my usual merchandise. My usual merchandise has always been logos of things I've created, whether it be for the shop, whether it be my logo, which admittedly I never use, whether it be for things like Dish the Dirt, all those sort of things, Rare Plant Index. This one is a little bit different. This design is going to be the first in probably quite a few designs following a similar theme. This is generally the direction that my merch is going to take. So I want to tell you very quickly before we start the video about this merch that I have on here. I'll put in a picture of the merch next to me now because really I have to walk back quite a way for you to really see the whole thing. But this is my Long Boys merch. If you've been watching this channel for a while then you will know exactly what that is based off. It is based off my love of what I like to call Long Boys. So the design features the word Long Boys, several different Long Boys featured on the front and then we have the names of them on the bottom. This design is generally based on my love of 80s movie posters, 80s band posters, posters, that kind of vibe, a little bit of grunge, a little bit of nostalgia thrown in. So that is the reason for the way this looks. It is a really good aesthetic, looks really cool, looks really good with tattoos, all the rest. So if you are interested in getting this merch, then the link will be down below. I think the link is there anyway, but if you click on it, you should find it. Sometimes as well, there is a carousel under my video, which I will check before this goes out. Hopefully it is featured on there. Hopefully it's featured on there. So that is live now available on my merch site in sizes. I'm pretty sure it's like extra small all the way up to like triple XL or something like that. Don't quote me on it, but there is a ton of different sizes and I really hope you like the design. I love it. It's one of my favorite things. I have one in, this is like a small, and then I actually have an extra large one that I wore a couple of videos ago or maybe even last week that I either wear to bed or I wear it when I'm lounging around the house. Now this one, I don't know if you can tell, this one does come complete with cat hair. Not great, not great, but hey, I thought I'd model it as it was. Anyway, moving on. So today's video is going to be another one of these update videos that I like to do. Only I've picked out some plants that I don't think I've talked about in a while. Some of them feature a little bit of neglect. Some of them, I want to show you the progress on some TC plants that I actually bought in. One of them is some plants that have come in very recently to show you how they're doing. And it's very, I don't know, we've got some silvery themes, some dark themed, a little bit of variegation. My special spathophyllum that I've had for many years, I'm actually going to show you that today as well. So we've got a bit of a blend, really. Without further ado, I'm going to get started and I don't know what I'm going to pick. So let's just... I'm gonna start with the TC plant, right? Let's just get straight in there. And the reason I wanted to talk about this was I mentioned this on my last repot with me that I did, I assume last week due to the order this is going out because I know I'm gonna film another one. But last week I mentioned there is literally, can you see it? Where I am circling my hand around here, there is a tray full of TC philodendron longer lobatum, right? And <laughs> it's not potted because I've pulled the plugs out of trays, right? But I've got one to show you, just to show you the progression on them because I bought them in and I mean literally the leaves were maybe about an inch long they were about this tall and I've had them for a long time I am selling them on my website if you're interested but I just wanted to show you how they are kind of doing and growing now this one and I you know I do this guys I don't I don't preen plants ready to show you I don't do anything specific to them I don't I don't try and make them look really pretty unless it's got like a yellow leaf or something I just kind of show you them as is so it's a little bit grubby I won't lie and I have literally had to unearth it from the moss but I just want to show you this little guy and how he's doing so if he wobbles in the pot that's honestly why but considering I got him in from maybe a little bit less than that because obviously he has had some leaf drop he's actually done really well now I would love to be able to tell you how long I've had these in for I would love to be able to tell you <sighs> Could be six months, quite a while maybe. Did take a long time to get them off the ground when they got here because they've had to adjust to a completely new way of living. But that's them anyway. We're just starting to get some lobes on them. Granted, they are all a bit all over the place, but I'm also showing you this because I'd like to show you my large one that I have. That I would say is not tissue culture. I would say that. I would say that to you. And I would like to say that to you. However, I can't guarantee it isn't because as I covered in my recent report in my bit, it was kind of a rant, let's be honest. I'm told it's not, but it could be just because they're everywhere but I want to show you my big one anyway in case somebody is interested in these for any reason but they, they're looking at that going right yeah so do you know what I mean I mean I wouldn't be interested in this unless unless I knew what it grew into so give me one moment let's put this floppy boy down forget long boys it's floppy boys although I do think this plant could be classed as a long boy guys to be honest excuse me just picking this little bad boy up it's definitely a bad boy whether he's a long boy or not right so I'm gonna try and not knock my microphone 
Oh, he's definitely a long boy. Would you call this guy a long boy? I would. He's obviously got these beautiful, and I mean, these are insane, these lobes here. I realize this is not the best way to show you. Oh my God. Sorry, the extra floral nectaries on this guy are fucking insane. Let me just show you this. Hopefully it'll focus. And if I put my hand up, it will. Sorry, that is like the hardest thing in the world. I can't even see what it's focusing on. Hopefully you can see those. It's literally insane. I can barely touch it. But this is what Philodendron longilobatum actually does turn into. And he is a beast. And he has come from admittedly quite a small one that I got in. He maybe did start around about this size here, this little small leaf. If I pull it in front of the pot, then you can definitely see. And he's got bigger. Now he hasn't got bigger insanely fast, I wouldn't say. And that's probably down to my care. I wouldn't say that I've, <laughs> the blonde hair, stuck to the extra floral nectaries. Wonderful. I wouldn't say that I've tried overly hard to level him up, so to speak. He's actually been right in front of the wall. He's covered by a reasonable amount of foliage. That's probably why, if you see that he's grown a certain way, and he actually seems to have grown quite far out and quite far downward, he's actually just avoiding some of the bigger leaves. So that's why, obviously, he could move quite easily. But I just wanted to show you how cool this is and what it grows into. The petioles are very long, so if this is a plant for you, you think, then you need to make sure that you can deal with this. This is like, not quite the length of my arm, but it's reasonable. I don't know how big this is. It could be like maybe 80 centimeters to the bottom, and it's maybe, could be as long as 50 centimeters. I think the, the plant itself is as long as that, if that makes sense, but I think because it's not... How do I put this? Because it's narrow and it's very airy, it's going to look long. Do you know what I mean? Does this make any sense? It's going to look long. A little bit like what a philodendron UPI can look when they're big. Because I have one upstairs. That's why you haven't seen it, because I can't pull it down. Um, they can look kind of the same. So if you're interested, it, you, you've got to be in it for this, really. But I want to show you it because I, I don't feel like I've held this up for a long time, to be honest. And I saw him when I was tidying the other day and I thought, oh, isn't he cute? So I'll pop him down like so. Oh my God, I've got, oh. Can I get a little bit of blue roll? Not that it's probably gonna do anything, is it? I've been extra floraled. It's not ideal. I've literally got gym stuff on as well. I was supposed to get changed. I went to the gym this morning and I lifted weights, but if the gym is cold, I don't actually sweat or anything. It's just a weird thing. I sweat doing cardio, but actually doing weights, I tend not to, really tend not to. And I've got my entire gym outfit on, which is here. I've had to put my mic pack in here because I have no pockets in my gym outfit. I'm gonna work with it. Right. What next? Oh, I'm going to show you a cute little thing that I do. I do drag this out every so often. I do. I know. But I want to show you anyway, because it's <laughs> it's grown up the side of the, what do you call it, the plastic planter. So it's done a weird thing because it's growing along the edge of the planter from where it's been living. But I just want to put this under your nose because I don't see a lot of them. I'm not saying they're rare. I'm actually saying no one gives a shit, right? It's one of these. Things are either super rare, which nowadays they tend not to be. They tend not to be. Or it's because no one gives a shit. But I wonder if you'd like to give a shit. This is, what is it? It's not that silver angel uh, philodendron that I would really like to get my hands on, to be honest. I can't remember exactly what it is. I think this is just philodendron SP platinum or something. And to be fair, you I don't know how well you can tell looking at this that it's not your average plant. Do I have anything green I can even compare it to? I just need something green to hold up. Maybe just the leaves of this one would work in showing you that it's not green. I realize this is a terrible way of doing this. Terrible. Can you even see? Like obviously this is just a green plant. Mm. On my viewfinder, I can't tell the difference. I will be honest with you. In real life, it is a blue green. I wouldn't say it was blue. I think there's plenty of plants out there that are a lot more blue, but it's definitely a blue frosted. Um, yeah, like a frosted green. I don't know if you can see that or not. It is very, very pretty though. It's not the quickest grower, but I kind of like that. And I've said this before, when I do eventually move plants into my house, which it is coming, I just need some chaves pop. I want something that's slow, something very slow. I can't really have crawlers anyway. And I assume this is a crawler. I mean, <sighs> This says pastazan and white, but that's the wrong tag. Yeah, all right, so on the other side it says platinum. I don't know. I Honestly, I would, I would want to say that's a crawler. I really don't think it's a climber. I probably told you it's a crawler in the past, which means I do know that. I know it for sure. Um, but it is really, really nice. I love it so much. I don't necessarily want to put crawlers in my house because bit difficult, but I also don't like poles, so I have to pick one. I have to pick one, but there he is, looking cute. No real growth updates for you as such, because he's very slow, but he's okay. He's definitely uh, stood the, the test of underwatering, shall we say. Right, next one. <laughs> this next plant just sort of represents my neglect, but they have thrived on my neglect. So I've neglected quite a lot of, a full tray of, um, 
what do you call it? Philodendron Whippleway brain. Wasn't going to let me have that at all. Philodendron Whippleway. So I wanted to show you what has happened since I've neglected them, but then fed them, if you know what I'm saying. And I just want to say, right, I know this looks horrific. You don't have to tell me. I know you're probably watching this at home going, ew, what the fuck? I agree. It looks horrific because <laughs> this is all the old growth that I've been getting. And then it's been chopped as well, which it did okay. There's a leaf here, and I've mentioned this before, a leaf I had probably, I mean, I don't even know when, if I'm honest, that just didn't quite unfurl, either to overcrowding or I think it was a lack of airflow at the time and it just, just wasn't unfurling. And if this happens to you, by the way, and I'll show you while I talk, if this happens to you and your humidity is fine, it's probably airflow. Because if you think about a plant's leaf unfurling, say in like the wind, <laughs> right? When it's unfurling, it does get to shake a little bit and it does help the leaf sort of unstick. So if that happens to you, that could be why. But I want to show you this just because it sized up beautifully. Why is it facing this way? Oh, I know why. Okay. So it's facing this way. I have to think about that. I've, <laughs> how minimum effort is that? I've just stuck this in for the sake of the video. So it's facing this way, I think, because it's grown over another plant and it's sort of leaned on it and then it's grown up towards the light. So that's why. Obviously, it's not something that couldn't be corrected. But I wanted to take this opportunity while it's here, while it's large, to just, I don't know, just to just speak well of this plant. Because again, I love the color change. I love the color change. If you're sick of green, right, but you don't necessarily want variegated, this is a plant for you because you get you get what does it come through this pinky color which i do hope comes off on camera it is on the raw footage anyway this is definitely pinky coming out you see that oh you can see that there beautiful pink leaf that comes out of it that does sort of disappear if you look on the older ones but we go from pink then the pink here because there is actually a little bit of pink here it sort of blends into a minty green and then we get more of a minty green and when it hardens off it does harden off more of a cooler frost color so if i just show you all the leaves in the camera frame that is really nice i Oh, I love this plant, you know, I really do. I have a large one upstairs and it is, it's it's too big. It needs the head cut off at minimum. It's a little bit much. It's on a pole, I think, but it's like over the top and it's sort of working out where it wants to go. So I need to do that. But generally speaking, I just want to just honestly just refresh how nice these plants are because I don't know I feel like people sometimes people only like things when they're like super 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 rare and it's just sometimes I think people how do I put this without sounding mean a lot of people go for it when it's rare and as soon as it's not they don't even like it anymore but I think this is great I don't even know how rare it is anymore I haven't checked I haven't sold it in a while I don't think it's super rare I think it is TC but I think even the TC costs a little bit of money but since we're on the subject of TC I don't know if this is TC or not I bought these as cutting a long time ago that does not mean they are not tc guys it does not mean that at all it means they're probably from tc and then they're propagating the tc if someone else has bought in tc and then they're you know producing their own little friendly reminder but yeah that's him I, he is gnarly because look we've had some unfurling issues but look at the back of him look how cool he is oh such a sexy plant look at that Ooh, girl for me it's the it's the color change absolutely adore that right um oh this i'm gonna take no time at all on this one because it's literally just to tell you that i nearly killed them but they're fine <laughs> So I showed these plants on a haul. Do you remember these? These beautiful spathophyllum. I, with it, did it say they were a hybrid? I think it did, right? But these variegated spathophyllum here, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I nearly killed them, but they are great. And this is something I love about spathophyllum. I really like them because these things, it's a bit like um, what plant really wilts and then it's fine. Like a fetonia or something, right? I know, super common plant, but they are very quick to let you know when they want water. They're very dramatic, but they will just sort of harden back up and they'll be fine if you water them right it's very much the same as spathophyllum if you've never had one before now you don't have to get one of these i actually have two more to show you today but i just mainly want to show you the fact that i nearly killed them and i mean i nearly killed them they were like shriveled up like a dead crab right and all i've got is a bit of burn on the edges where i've had to rehydrate them not so bad at all so what happened was after i showed you guys the haul i put the plants down in one of my plastic tubs right of water and i just forgot to put water in it i came back like four days later and you've got to bear in mind it is warm in here it's not insanely warm especially not now what is it uh humidity low it's not though how is that low it's telling me i've got 65 percent humidity and that's low apparently uh it's 20.9 degrees so it's not super warm but it's warm enough um and it's still still depleted itself of water so just want to let you know how tough they are they could probably do with being a bit perkier but hey 
they're alive, which is good because I paid a bit of money for them, you feel me? I'm gonna put them exactly back where they were. Um, if you do want to know, everything from that hole is still in the same place actually, and it's done brilliantly. This was the, was it like a Raffidophora, like variegated giant form or something? That looks exactly, exactly as it was when I brought it in. Um, what else? Oh, the Congos. I'll just pick up one, you don't really need to see both. The Congos here. Like that, absolutely perfect. And again, this is why they're in garden centers, guys. This is exactly why, because they're just tough. They're just tough. And I've said this before, I'll say it again. If you want a variegated plant, but you don't know what to go for, go for something that is already in a garden center, but is variegated. So a variegated spathophyllum, a variegated Congo, something like that. No, I'm not trying to sell them to you. I have two Congo, two spathophyllum, and they're not going anywhere. <laughs> So don't think that's what this is, but genuinely it's it's the best advice I could like give you if people want to get into variegates now, which I think a lot of people do just because of the whole TC thing and people are kind of sick of seeing the same stuff, then variegates are the way to go. But stuff like that in terms of them just not dying on you and not making your investment back, but not losing your investment, if you know what I mean. They're really, really good. Another spath of film I'd like to show you, because we have a couple, is this one here. Now this is the one, this is the exact spath of film, yes it is flowering, from my house. So this is, is it called spath of film ghost or something like that? I think it's got another name, I'm not really sure which. I do have some up there that they need to grow in a bit. I might have forgot to water them and I've got like two or three leaves on each plant, so they need a bit of time. So I do have some of these, but they're not. I could do getting better ones in to be honest. But this guy here has come from my house because I had it in my house. It was going really well, but then I got the kittens and I'm pretty sure these are toxic to pets. So it hasn't gone back in. They, my pets do chew things, I'll be honest. Um, but it's mainly my Calathea, nothing else. They, they've had a little gnaw on my Kentia palm here and there, but not really. It's definitely the Calathea orbifolia that they, they really love to munch on. So by the time I next put that on camera for you at home, you're literally going to look and go, can you not take care of Calathea? But it's literally, it just gets munched. And then once it's munched, it just like, it just goes like dry and dorito -y, So it doesn't look the best. But anyway, this is why that was removed, but it's done okay. I've got pups galore and that's probably why it looks a bit, there's a lot going on. There's a pup here, I think. There is, is it just one? Oh wait, no, there's two. Yeah, I've just lied to you. There's one pup. There's one pup and it still looks like that. It's probably trying to spread itself out for the light then. Quite surprising, really. It's not sized up as well as I would have liked, but I think that's probably due to coming here and it came here a little bit late and, and whatever have you. But it's happy enough to be flowering, although you could argue when plants flower, they're not entirely happy, right? Hence that if you want a plant to flower, it's been like a, an old gardening sort of not a trick, but like piece of advice for years, right? If you want to have stuff flowering, then make it pot bound. So essentially it's unhappy, it wants to move, it wants to move house, you know? Same thing for oblique, piss it off. Just piss plants off, do you know what I mean? Oblique with runners or stuff like this with flowers. Just make them unhappy and they probably flower. Give them, you know, food, but make them unhappy. So yeah, that's him anyway. I think that's Spathophyllum ghost and it's got pollen all over itself. And I did have one of these that actually pollinated, but I think I didn't get to them and the flower died, which is a bit of a shame because I've never seen that on a Spathophyllum. But I think they sort of worked with each other in the tray. It's a bit of a shame that. I'm going to put that down. And is it my final plant or my next plant? I think it could be my final plant for today because I've tried to do like something a little bit different to what I usually pick up. My final plant today is a really awesome plant that I got in 2020. I actually picked it out myself. I picked it out myself in Thailand, if you remember that, when I went over, I think I went over just before COVID hit. And when I was coming back on the plane, they were like starting to close borders. So it was in March, I went away. It was really touch and go, shall we say. But before that, obviously I was walking around nurseries and I did some stuff and I made some videos about it. But you might remember, I picked up a variegated, what I thought was just a variegated spath of film. Okay, and bless it, it's it struggled with variegation. It wasn't a strong specimen. Hang on. <coughs> I feel like I want to cough. Maybe it's talking about COVID. Better. It wasn't a strong specimen in terms of variegation, right? Because I remember I asked the nursery, hey, can I have one of these? Because there's loads of them. And I was like, oh my God, would love, would love. And they're like, no, 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 can't give you any. I was like, you can't give me any. And I think, I, I don't know who it was, a nursery owner or staff or something like that anyway. They're like, you can take this one. This is the only one you can take. That's like they knew it was shit. Fair enough. I don't know how much I paid for it. I Guys, I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you. But anyway, I've got this really small piece of Lillian and it's got the tiniest bit of variegation on it but you might think what's the point however i'm gonna hold this up to you and i'm gonna tell you what i found out because it's not just the regular spathophyllum that you get in shops 
And I'm not saying it's rare. I'm not saying it's rare. I'm saying it's almost like a darker form. And I think there is one. There is another spath of film. And if you guys could help me out with this, that'd be great. If anybody is into their spath of film and you could tell me this, I'm going to pick it up now. But it's, it's not normal, right? It's darker. It's really dark. And I've seen countless peace lilies in my time. And it ain't that. It ain't that. The shape of the leaves isn't even the same, I don't think. I'm sure normal spath of film have more of like a, almost like a wisp on the end. I don't know. It, trust me it's i'm telling you i'm telling you it's different i'm telling you now don't get me wrong it's had a bit of an underwatering so some of the lower leaves are a bit they don't love me put it that way but this is him now he could be bigger don't get me wrong because he is three years old he, he deserves to be a lot bigger than what he is however however if i can just put this over my head can you see oh you can you know right let me just do this really awkwardly. Right, I'm wearing a black t-shirt, right? Not saying this is black, I'm not doing that. What I am saying is how freaking dark is it compared to the black t-shirt? You feel me? How dark is that? That is unnaturally dark for a spath of film. That is not a normal spath of film. I don't know what it is, and I would love it if somebody could fire a name as to what it is, because I, I really like this plant a lot. And I do actually want to take this to my house, toxic or not toxic. Um, this is some of the old variegation, just to prove that it's the same plant. Um, you can't even see it in all the petioles now, I think. I was hoping it would pop, to be honest, and it's never really bothered to pop for me, which is really weird because all my other spath film do, no problem. But this guy's never really wanted to pop. But look how dark he is, man. That's really dark. Do you see what I mean? I wonder if I can tip him a little bit because he doesn't have water in. Can you see how dark that is? That's insane. In fact, he will, you know what? In memory of this, to commemorate him, he will be my thumbnail today. Just give me one moment while I get a thumbnail shot. Gotta be done, guys. Gotta be done. Oh, you, you know what? I can't get a nice shot without me looking stupid. Like, oh, please don't tip out, please. But yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me, spathophilum people. Tell me what he is. I promise you, I promise you I'm not making this up. He is different. He is really, really dark. His leaves look different to me. So the differences I think there are, before we go today, the differences I think there are is his leaves are darker. We still have ridges. It's very, very matte. I do assume other spath film are generally quite matte, so I'm not counting that. But I think them the leaves are more paddly. They don't seem as... I don't know, they just seem wider. Please tell me what you think, honestly. Everything else, it just, it's just spathophyllum. But his color, nah. You cannot tell me that that's a normal spathophyllum. I would be so upset if y'all just <laughs> tell me that he's normal, because he's not. I really like that guy. I wish he would pop. I really wish he'd pop. And if I could find another variegated one of him, I would have him over the other spathophyllum that are out in like all the garden centers and the tissue culture and stuff like that. Because I don't think that they are that. I haven't seen that before. So let me know. Let me know what you think. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little mini update. If you want my merch like this, I can't really do much other than walk back. If you'd like to see my merch, then feel free to click the link down below. Also, I do have a carousel and get yourselves one of these. I'm sure they will deliver well in time before Christmas, if that's what you'd like. There will be more merch in the future. I just want to think about designs a little bit. I might discuss with my members what kind of things they would like and come up with it that way. So if you're interested in that, feel free to click the join button, which I think is near the subscribe button on my channel, which if you haven't already subscribed, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? But anyway, thank you very much for watching this week's video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.